Okay, I'll be sewing some snot rags here. I'm doing a little zigzag type of sew job where I'll just tighten the ends close together, one fold over. Some people do the double fold over. Then you wouldn't need to do this crossover, but I'm just doing a single fold over and zigzagging. It's going to be a snot rig, and I chose the pattern of Packers in particular for a reminder just so I can identify that it's going to be a snot rig with a green and yellow because you can always associate that with the snot. So that's my choice. If you ever hang out with me and see these laying around, you might want to be wary of picking one up. But this takes about maybe uh, an hour just to do one. <clears throat> So that's pretty much it. It'll hold the threads nice and tight. Should. It's just a regular cotton cloth that's patterned found at Walmart. This is a little more pricey though. I bought it at five dollars per yard roughly. That's like over double the common cost of cotton. I was a little surprised about that. But I wanted a specific pattern. I was debating whether to get circles or splotchy pattern of some kind. And I was looking in the used remnants bin to just get not even a yard, I didn't need it, I just, I would have been willing to buy just a half a yard or a quarter of a yard. And this fabric was laying in it. Packers. Make great snot rags. Pass them around during games. Let people sniffle away as Packers struggle. But with the speedy stitcher, this this is uh, just a nice little quiet spend the spare time. Oops, keeping your hands busy, nothing too strenuous, keeps the mind going, kind of relaxing. But at least there's you got some movement going. You listen to the radio just sew away as you're thinking because this doesn't require a large amount of concentration at least this part of it the sewing part just in a general straight um, pattern and you can think about what you want to do for the day or something carry this with you. I go to the library, in fact I'm at the library parking lot. I carry this around so wherever. I'm sewing in my car in the library parking lot. Because I'm poor. But this is a very mobile way of sewing. People depend on sewing machines. I don't see the reason. Not with a speedy stitcher invented a hundred years ago. It's really convenient. It's mostly this the speedy stitcher is mostly designed for leather working but it also I was, I was testing it 
It also accepts regular needles. So it's a nice convenient way most people probably attack this uh, most people would probably take the approach with the speedy stitcher and, and just making repairs I sold entire things the snot rig uh, gotta cut it to sit it down here made this little bag this took a long time I used a thicker thread than what you saw me use 12 pounds per square inch each stitch so this this is gonna hold very good this is a rip stop just a regular little bag made this pouch made, put a little video out for that um, but yeah I'm gonna finish this up so alright